Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another episode 3 video. So today we're trying Icarus and this game is super GPU heavy because uh, right now I am playing on 1080p on an RTX 2060. The settings are set on like uh, 1080p and everything is on like high and without this mod uh, without this mod I'm getting around only maybe <coughs> 50 fps 50 uh, sometimes even getting to like 40s so yeah this is a very intensive game in terms of GPU wolf can I fight him what the hell is this attacking animation bro are you slapping your wife coming back from the office like your dinner is not ready you wanna kill this wolf with this slap oh. looks like I can kill the wife no I can't okay so yeah anyway let's begin the mod so I got two zips today uh, one is for the uh, GTX and AMD series and one is for the RTX series so I'll guide you through like uh, how to use each one there is a little extra step to activate the mod so yeah let's begin first we'll activate the DLSS uh, like the RTX uh, mod because uh, it's the DLSS one uh, it's the legit DLSS frame generation this is not the FSR 3 so we're gonna copy everything inside the folder then we're gonna go to the installation directory of Icarus then we'll go to the Icarus binaries Win64 and where the Icarus Win64 shipping is located we're gonna paste everything here so now to uh, make the mod work we will need to run the game in the DirectX 12 version so to do that we're gonna select the shortcut then right click on it then go to send to and click on desktop shortcut after that minimize the folder now select the desktop shortcut right click on it go to properties and after that where you see the target tab just click at the end of that text like where the dot ex is ending then from your keyboard press a space then press hyphen then write dx12 hit on apply click on ok and now run the game I'll explain. <coughs> okay we are back in the game again and fps is still around the same because i have not activated the frame generation from the setting so we're gonna go to setting display then we're gonna scroll down and you can see that frame generation has come online so we're gonna select that and also select the dlss to quality remember this first mod is for the rtx series users so it, this is the legit frame generation of dlss this is not a vsr 3 and we come back to the game and now there the frame rate is, is around 110 to 120 it's uh, double uh, more than double in some scenarios like we were having almost 40 fps in some situation and now we are having uh, well above 100 so yeah this is the rtx zip now we'll install the gtx zip also so yeah do uh, hold on uh, let me test a little bit then we will begin the installation of gtx zip also what is that a horse or a goat I don't want to fight anymore. I've already died to a wolf. Why is this game so heavy? I can't tell. F2 harvest. Yay. Pumpkin. Is it Halloween already? Okay, yeah. Let's begin the GTX zip. <coughs> so, first we're gonna need to remove the previous zip from the installation folder. Now we're gonna extract the GTX zip. After that, we're gonna copy everything inside. Then we're gonna paste it right uh, to the same folder. Then we're gonna save, uh, do the same. If you have not done this already, then you will need to do the same, like the um, desktop shortcut and V64, and uh, run it at DirectX 12. So uh, we're just gonna run the game from here, and we're gonna close the CMD window, and we're gonna edit the text tweak. So open it close the cmd we're gonna go to the installation folder again then we'll see fsr to fsr 3 config now we're gonna edit it and write the fake gpu to true 
and you can turn this uh, replace dlssfg to the default area like remove the default and write that replace dlssfg if you don't see the frame generation in game but uh, by default it should be able to you should be able to see the frame generation so yeah we're gonna save this then close the file and run the game and now run the game from the desktop shortcut always because uh, we want to run the game like in rectx 12 mode so yeah we're gonna run the game and speed up the video now okay we're back in the game again and you guys can already see that this is ghosting so we're just gonna go to setting and verify the setting once again like uh, yeah i have set the dlss on quality and you can turn on the frame generation or off but the whole get is stuck here yeah. so maybe we will need to uh, why is this happening and now it's gone but i think the hood will get stuck to your ui like if you enable the frame generation so be careful about that one okay no, now it's not stucking maybe there was some bug i don't know <clears throat> but yeah the frame rate is boosting and this is the fsr3 that's why the shimmering is a little bit uh, more than the dlss3 but uh, the mod is still working fine and there is no hood flickering so yeah this will be it guys uh, if this video helps you do subscribe to the channel and Uh, comment down below if you face any kind of issue and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one also star wars jedi survivor might be coming to the channel very soon so stay tuned for that one and cheers happy gaming